how has the quarantine been for you with these three young kids and maybe even a little bit of homeschooling and a whole lot of entertaining horrible. little ones? Been horrible. This is, um, <laughs> I was not made to do this. So when I had kids, it was under the assumption that they would be going to school at least part of the day. Mm -hmm. So this has been a little bit of a wake up, mm -hmm. um, but probably good for us. Probably good for a lot of, well, mostly men probably, but a lot of people in relationships with kids, you got to spend more time with them, which is actually kind of nice in a way, but it gets really annoying too. Yeah. Um, how about like you and your wife? I mean, you guys probably don't ever spend this much time together or didn't prior to this, or maybe you no. did. I don't know. You were retired. You, you tell us. You know what? No, no. Actually, when I it was weird, like a few weeks before COVID hit, I asked my wife one day, cause I was, I've been gone a lot, like seven to five most days. And I said, are, like, is it bothering you that I'm gone so much? You know, like we don't see it to see each other as much. And she said, no, I love it. <laughs> you know, like, well, you're not supposed to love it but like i could see if that was nice and she said no it's good like you're away you're doing your thing and then we come home and we spend time together so we're trying our best to not spend too much time together because i don't care who you are you're, you're gonna end up hating someone if you spend too much time with them like this much time i think there's gonna be a lot of divorces and i think there's gonna be a lot of breakups whatever you want to call them yeah what's the prediction so I think right you think a lot of divorces huh I think that when you spend this much time with your spouse, when you're accustomed to spending, good morning, going to work, see you later, come home, okay, fine, kids are finally down, good night, see you later. I mean, that's, life happens that way. Mm -hmm. and, and I just think that now that people are spending all day together or locked up at home together, I, just, I tend to think your relationship's either going to get stronger and right. you're, you're built for life or you are destined for divorce. Or you actually you know, have to like, get to know your partner. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's an interesting theory. All right. What do you think? I hadn't thought about it much. Um, I mean, we have, we're lucky. We have like a relatively big size home. I get out, you know, from a little bit each day and go for a bike ride or a walk. She does too. So we're, we're staying relatively sane, but I could see what you're saying. <laughs> Dude, I'm engaged right now and we don't have, I mean, we live in a two bedroom apartment in North park and she was here for the first 50 days of, quarantine Holy and like that God. first week i was like okay yeah we're gonna figure this out this is either gonna work or it's not and for <laughs> us it's worked you know we found out we actually like each other's company but i could see how there are some couples out there that figured out like oh shit this sucks this is it i know dude i could see that you're a you're a brave man alex yeah we actually shared a an office space too my kitchen so it was a uh, i have a buddy actually who just he his uh, long time girlfriend, well, short time girlfriend actually just moved in with him. And I said, how's it been? And he's like, you know, it's, it's pretty good and it's going okay. And you know, we think it's a fine da da da. And then I said, yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? To have someone in, in your space all the time. He's been single for a long time, all the time. You actually know this person, Scott. And, and, uh, he, <laughs> he wrote back, he texted me back. And he said, yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, welcome, buddy. <laughs> this, this, this same friend of ours said to me, I'm contemplating put together, putting together a guy's dinner. So I'm going to send her out somewhere <laughs> so I can have a guy's dinner. <laughs> welcome to relationships. That's why you're single, Browner. You're a smart man. I'm a lot of things. Browner, you, 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 you might... <laughs> Man of many words, too. Browner, you may have a complicated situation. Alex has a fiance. Landon has a wife that he's clearly happy with, you know, because his he never even said, like, yeah, divorce. I, I He actually said, I never even thought about it. So he's in a happy marriage. Alex is in a, a happy engagement. I'm in a happy girlfriend, boyfriend. She's got her place. I've got my place relationship. I tend to think, Browner, you may have the more complicated issue here. What do you think? I'm a lot of things. I don't publicly discuss my relationship. Oh, really? Yeah. What is this, Tiger King? Yeah, I don't do it. I'm, I'm Doc Antel. 